Greetings, how you doing? And today it's time for another paranormal highlight reel. All right. And the person that uh, we're going to show and talk about today is Kirsten. She's a very good friend of mine. Uh, she's a great person. And you know what? I'm going to let her tell you all about herself uh, in the cinema. And I even left a really cute ending on here for you to have a good chuckle at, at the end. Um, yeah. So let's have a look at her. All right. She's a good friend. Uh, tell her that uh, Jason Bones and Spectre says sit ya. I'll leave the link below. All right, so have a look-see, and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, everyone. My name is Kirsten. I thought I'd go into some details about uh, me being a pagan witch, uh, eclectic pagan witch. Eclectic basically meaning that I draw upon many different beliefs, religions, and so on incorporated into um you know my spirituality um as a pagan witch i am drawn to many different things called by certain gods and goddesses of different religions and faiths uh, i i research them and i uh delve into some of the practices myself um whatever i feel a need to learn I go and learn about it as much as I can Egyptian stuff Celtic uh, Native American me personally um, I just love the aspect of you know different cultures belief systems and religions you know because we're such a we're such a varied species but yet we're all the same we're all human we all bleed red we believe different things but that doesn't that that's what we think separates us but i think it actually binds us as a pagan witch i like to do tarot and oracles uh tarot cards and oracle cards and this particular deck uh this is one of my newer ones i just got uh it's called angels and ancestors oracle cards 55 card deck uh it's really beautiful the artwork is awesome it incorporates uh, all the religions and beliefs in this card system. It's got angels, it has shamans, it has warriors, it has, I mean, Jesus Christ is even in here. They don't say it, but he's represented. Um, really good. It says there's Celtic, Native American, Aboriginal, um, all sorts, all in here combined into this deck. And I love it. I res I was, I resonated with it immediately. I was like, wow, I gotta have that really beautiful deck uh the meanings are spot on and i've used it on uh a friend recently for a reading and she was like wow oh my god <laughs> i was like yeah i know it's a pretty good deck um but so um uh, from my research i have found out uh the third eye is the pineal gland, which is a small P-shaped gland in your brain, which is located between the two halves. There's two spheres, left and right. It produces and regulates some hormones, including melatonin. Melatonin regulates sleep. Well, this makes sense because, you know, sleep, you're unconscious. Um, that brings into play uh, all the things that you see, which you don't know if they're real or not. It is also the gate that leads within to inner realms and space higher, spaces of higher consciousness. Uh, it also symbolizes a state of enlightenment and invokes mental images that have deeply personal, spiritual, or psychological significance. Examples are, but not limited to, uh, visions, clairvoyance, precognition, out-of-body experiences, and people who can use it are often called seers. I like to record EVPs with this Olympus recorder right here. I like to use the Afterlife Spirit Box from ExtremeSenses.com. It is a completely free uh, app for your computer. I like to tend to go off my gut feelings, uh, intuition, stuff like that. So if I feel like there's something, you know, near me, I tend to pick up my phone and take a few pictures and see what i can capture sometimes i do get some faces and pictures i can see the spirit faces i usually ask them to show up and they do 
tend to show up in my pictures. Um, let's see. I have heard disembodied voices. Let's see. Uh, I have heard my name called. I have heard uh, Mama recently. Um, what else? Mm. Oh, I've heard giggling. I've heard crying when my kids either weren't home or they were asleep. Yeah, basically with my little recorder, my my five senses, uh, some spirit apps. That's pretty much how I investigate. There is my cherry blossom tree. Let's see. Let's see them. It's kind of dark. Cherry blossoms. Cool. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. Just kidding. 